Hello and welcome to the Quick Fix installment number 11. This is your tiny bite-sized podcast from Kirsten Oliphant and Create If Writing. Let's dig into some links. I can't go back to sleep, it's almost light. These restless thoughts have cut me up again tonight. One by one the stars are disappearing from the horizon. I can't close my eyes. Hey guys, and welcome to installment number 11 of The Quick Fix, and it's coming a little bit late today on this Friday because of broccoli, which is a really bizarre reason to have a late podcast episode, but um, apparently I learned yesterday that my four-month-old, Piper, she cannot handle it if I eat broccoli, and so she spent basically yesterday for like 12 hours pretty much miserable, not sleeping, not wanting to do anything but be held and basically cry. So I'm still, I feel like I'm in like, I'm having like baby hangover. Like from <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. I'm going to make that a thing. So we're in baby hangover mode. And so I didn't have a chance to actually be in a quiet room until right now. So this week uh, and this month, actually, uh, our sponsor is Ambition Ally, the makers of Pop-Up Ally Pro. And I would love for you guys to go check out this company because it's one I strongly believe in and I use. And even if you don't want to pay for Pop-Up Ally Pro, you can actually use the free version. So you can learn more by going to ambitionally.com forward slash Kirsten. And I would love it if you would go just check out their stuff because I want to make sure our sponsors come back and stay and know the power of this community. So I'm definitely a huge fan and would love for you guys to go check out what they do over there because it's not just pop-up. So go find out more about Ambition Ally and Pop-Up Ally Pro. This week, I am still kind of surprised that from last week's email, you guys are still talking in the Facebook group about your menus because last week I shared a post that came from Mary Dennis. I saw her share it in her group and I loved it on how to simplify your blog's navigation bar or menu. And so you guys are still working on that. So this week, I don't have as many actionable things. And it kind of made me want to share a few. I'm just kind of trying to figure out how to share fewer and fewer links because the reality is the more links in an email, the less you're clicking. But I also know that you guys are a diverse group and so different things are interesting to you. And some weeks I just have so much to share. So I am sharing some links this week that are maybe not as actionable and maybe just kind of newsworthy and uh, inspirational. Um, And I also want to continue the conversation in the Facebook group about our menus because that's still going on and maybe have each other kind of chuck check each other's menus and look at them and maybe we can offer some support because it's much easier to have someone else tell you, hey, you don't need this than to figure it out yourself. So if you're not in the community already, you can go to creativewriting.com forward slash community to get in there and get in on the conversation. This week, I have a newsworthy item and that is that Medium is now changing over to a subscription service. Now, you can still use Medium for free. And if you're not using Medium, it's kind of like I have a hard time explaining it. It's basically like a place where you can go post your blog posts. Um, You can either post ones that are from your blog or post totally new things over on Medium and people can follow you. So it's sort of like this weird mix of like social, maybe social blogging is a good way to put it. Um, You can follow people, see what they post, uh, like different things, comment on things. It's a really neat social platform for blogging. But it's run into some trouble this year, like financial trouble. And so uh, there's been a lot in the news about this. And I've kind of been following. um, I don't use Medium much, but I really like it. And it's something I'm always thinking about using more. But I don't know. We'll see if it's still around because it sounds like they're having trouble financially. And they decided to roll out this subscription service. And they're putting a lot behind this. So if this fails, I don't know. The things I've read make it sound like this is kind of ominous for Medium if this does not work. So if you pay for it, it's basically like $5 a month, you get some extra content and some exclusive content. But I I don't know how it's going to work. So this is newsworthy because I know some of you in our community do use Medium. And it's just that reminder that if you are building a platform, gaining an audience through anything other than basically your blog or, you know, connecting to people through your email list, it could go away, right? So um, a lot of people actually kind of made headlines, not a lot, but some several large people 
um, you know, in the last couple of years where they got rid of their blogs altogether and just used Medium. And, you know, to hear that Medium's in trouble, that's kind of scary. So if you are using Medium, what I would say is this, don't stop using it, but make sure everything that you have there, especially if it's exclusive content that you're not posting somewhere else, that you are keeping that, you're backing it up and putting it somewhere else so that you can have it and share it and keep it later. Because we don't know what's going to happen with Medium. We don't know, you know, if this subscription service fails, it could go away altogether. So uh, don't want to be gloom and doom, but it's just important to pay attention to those kinds of things and always make sure that you have access to your stuff and you're not totally building your life on somebody else's platform. So as for my inspiration this week, I found a really neat link um, on Unthinkable. And this is not, it's a podcast that I actually haven't sort of heard before, not sort of, I haven't heard it before. Um, and it has an article called Want More Creative Marketing, You Need More Sensitive Marketers, which sounds really, I don't know, sensitive is such a weird, it's not a word we think of in a good way often. Like you think, you're so sensitive. Like it's not a great thing. But um, what he actually says in the article uh, is being sensitive is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of openness. And so he's talking about how we should be walking around thinking about why. We should be walking around opening a closed mind to the inspiration all around us, which I really, really like um, this idea of kind of looking around you with more sensitivity in in the idea of being open, being open to inspiration, being open to learn, being open to um, kind of realizing that this is the real world. I don't know if you guys ever have this moment where you're sit, like driving or sitting around or doing some normal everyday thing and you're like, all of a sudden, this is my life. This moment right here, I am living my life. And it just reminds you how big and significant even the small things are. So I really liked this post. I'm sharing it with you. And there's also a link. Um, you can listen to the podcast or read the post. I like that his, um, I guess they would be show notes, but it's more like what I do where it's more like a blog post. Speaking of the blog, you guys probably listened to already my um my podcast earlier this week, the big one from Creative Writing, and it was all about how to make sure Facebook pulls the right image um, from your blog. And so a lot of you guys, I never know how much thing, how much of these things are going to be like common knowledge, but a lot of you were really thankful for that. So go check that out if you have it. And I do have a video tutorial in the show notes for that. Um, so that's here in your feed. And I believe it's, um, it was episode 93. So it would be creativewriting.com forward slash zero nine three. But you can also just go to creativewriting.com. I actually redid the blog last week. So it looks a little bit different, a little bit brighter and cheerier. And I'm kind of excited about it. Okay, a few more links to leave you guys with. Uh, next week, actually on the 30th of March, I am hosting Brian Hohen, for, Brian Hohen. Oh my goodness. I am hosting Brian Cohen for a webinar. And I'm really excited about this. I've known Brian for a while. And he's a guy that I just, I really like his advice. I really like him as a person. And so I'm an affiliate for a Selling for Authors program, which he is relaunching. And so in this webinar, he's going to talk about the program, but he's also going to share some copywriting secrets and just secrets for selling your books. So here are some of the things you're going to discover in the training. You're going to learn how to write the one sentence that can transform your author career, the one task every author should do every day to supercharge results, and how to turn strangers into fans for life. And that's not all, but those are some of the bullet points that he is sharing. And so I'm excited. I'm not going to be on the call with him. So I may be there in the chat, but you will have Brian kind of leading off the whole thing, um, which I'm excited about. So you can... um, in the email for the quick fix, you will see the link there. And also, if you are not subscribed to my email, you can do that by going to creativewriting.com forward slash quick fix, and you will immediately get access to the archives, which I realized I didn't update last week. So I'll be updating both now and you can get the link to actually sign up for that webinar with Brian Cohen. Now, one more thing I want to leave you guys. This is kind of the last big thing, and it's a big thing. I have decided, I so I beta launched my membership community, the creative writing community um, in the fall. And I've had a really good time with the 30 or so people that are in there kind of figuring out what it was going to look like. And everybody hung in there with me while I had a baby and tried to figure out what life looked like and work looked like after that. Um, and so I decided instead of having kind of open and closed doors, which was the original plan, I'm going to have it as an evergreen. So you're going to hear about this a lot. I'm just going to do little PSs here and there that the creative 
writing community membership is open. And what I also decided to do, because I know a lot of people had questions and just weren't sure what this was going to look like, I've made it so that you can do the first month for a dollar, which is really amazing. And so I don't want anybody in there who doesn't want to be in there. I want you guys to come in and see that it's right for you and stay. And what we basically do is this. We have a private Facebook community. So if you love the big creative writing community, it's like that, but smaller. So there's a lot more. um, I'm a little bit more hands-on in there and people are way more. It's just a group of really engaged people who want to take things to the next level. That's essentially what it is. So if you are tired of paying for courses and feeling like you're still, you're applying things and growing, but you're growing slowly, this is a more hands-on, full growth thing because it has more access to me and also access to other people who are in the same boat who are really ready to supercharge things. So you'll have video access um, to the content library that I have created. It's got over 20 videos and I'm adding new ones constantly that are exclusive. And the content library is actually for sale. I don't advertise as much, but it's a $200 value. Um, It's got courses right now on how to create courses, on webinars, on your email list. Um, I just created one on how to do freebies using pages. So it's got a lot of content in there. And so you'll have videos. So it's like getting a course, but also getting the community. And we do things like hot seats where we do, I do a coaching call with somebody, but the whole community can be there and watch the live coaching call and speak up in the comments. So you guys actually get to have a say and give your advice. So it's a lot of fun. Those are, I think, the most energizing things that we do. So we do one or two of those a month and then some exclusive trainings. Plus, you'll get 40% off of any of my other courses and coaching packages. So if you are doing this and then realizing like, no, I really need some like just one-on-one time, um, not just a hot seat or something else. I need one-on-one time (laughs) with me to get some help for where you are. Then you can get 40% off of my coaching packages as well. Okay, so that's going to be a dollar. And you can just go to creativewriting.com forward slash membership to find out all about this and how you can get in for a dollar because you're going to want to if you are ready to actually just kickstart your growth and really do that. Okay, I think that's it for today. I want to highlight our featured community member today, and it's Misha from Cookin' Mimi. And this is budget-friendly recipes and more for families. And I'm excited because she is doing pressure cooker recipes, and I just got the Instant Pot like a month ago, which was life-changing, you guys. Um, So she has a lot of really great, easy recipes that are not going to break the budget. And she's been a member of the community for a while and speaking up in there. So you can find her at Cookin' Mimi. There's no G. It's just cooking because you're not cooking her. It's descriptive cook and Mimi. (laughs) So you can find Misha there. And I'm so glad you're part of the community, Misha. Let's do our highlighted reviews in the Australian accent. And remember, if you left a review already, or if you do leave one now, screenshot your review, send me an email or tweet so that you can be entered to win access to all of my courses and books. I'm running a contest. By the time we get to episode 100 of the podcast, I'm going to give this away. So go ahead, leave a review. Um, You'll get to maybe hear it read in an Australian accent and you might get to win a prize, but you got to send me a screenshot because it's too hard otherwise to go through and get all the, uh, pull all the data from there. So, okay, here we go. Reviews. Story Alchemist says, I thought I had pretty much listened to all the creative podcasts until I stumbled upon Kirsten Oliphant. She's authentic, open, and honest about herself and her podcast content. Content varies in a refreshing way that I find myself uh, interested in listening to. And I'm always refreshed and excited to uh, get back to my writing and creativity. This podcast is a must for anyone who wants to be creative, wants to be a maker, or just wants to get a little bit more light into their life. Thank you guys so much for listening to The Quick Fix and Creative Writing. Don't forget to connect with me in the community, creativewriting.com forward slash community. You can also sign up to get all the links delivered to your inbox going to creativewriting.com forward slash quick fix. And again, check out our sponsor, Ambition Ally, by going to ambitionally.com forward slash Kirsten. All right, you guys, I'll be back in your earbuds on Monday. Have a great weekend. Oh.